Hola, happy Saturday. Uh, t today's flag day. We should have gone to Three Oaks today. They, Three Oaks, Michigan has, they celebrate flag day. <laughs> they have a big parade and it's been a big thing since I was a kid. They're known for being the, what are you doing kitty? Um, being a town that has a huge flag day. Most, most towns don't celebrate flag day. They do. Uh, but tomorrow, as most of you know, it's Father's Day. And as a lot of you know, it's the Humper's birthday. A year ago, right now, some of you folks were here. I cannot believe it's been a year, really. Right now, there were people dressed in choir robes wandering around my yard. One pretending to fly like a bird. Someone named Ruth. You know. <laughs> she was so cute. Um, and tonight when it starts to get dark, I'll remember us all sitting in the front yard around the fire. Uh, it was a... Kitty, what are you doing? What you think you're doing? Do you want these? But, it has been a year. I don't know what Dad wants to do tomorrow for his birthday. I baked him a cake today. He went out to mow. Here comes Heidi because she heard me throw on cat treats, but she can't get to him because it's blocked off with my tote of stuff. I had cleaned all the crap off my desk when Solomon came to fix it, and it's most of it's still in a tote down here. All my little knick-knacky things. I'll get them. I'll, I'll do that sometime when I feel the urge. So, I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. I'm going to let him decide what he wants to do. But he, when he went out to mow, I'm like, I'll bake him a cake. And his favorite is German chocolate. He came in, I'm like, I'm baking you a cake. He goes, is it German chocolate? I'm like, yes, it's German chocolate. That's... He goes, you won't get very much of it. I'm like, I know I won't, because you're a cake ho. Peggy made this really good bunt cake. It was like a... I don't know if I mentioned that in another video or not. It was like a um, pumpkin, cinnamon, streusel thing. That was really good. She sent me the recipe. I'm going to try to make it sometime, although I don't have a bunt pan. But I can make it in a regular cake pan, I think. But the bunt pan, it's made to be turned out onto a plate. I don't know how you do that with a cake. Would you just sprinkle the stuff on the top that you would normally put on the bottom? of the bunt thing so when you cut your piece of cake all the stuff in the top now I'm trying to talk my way through it hmm. just got done doing some paperwork paying some bills paid my insurance premium went yesterday morning uh, she did a real no, hardly any mark this time just a tiny little red spot you can't really see it um, same vein that's a good vein uh, it's funny because we left in the morning a little bit early because, uh, you know, garage sales. I told you garage sales. So we went to the, there's one behind our house. So we went to that one and, uh, dad's got the mower out. He told me he was done mowing. Apparently, he's not done mowing. Uh, and he gets in the car and he said that they had told him that they heard that my doctor's office was for sale and he wanted to retire. Uh, Dr. Brown is the main person there and then I go to Tammy, who's a nurse practitioner. And um, that rumor has popped up several times over the years. So when I got in there to get my blood drawn, I'm like, hey, okay, I want to ask you something. Because I've heard rumors, I'm just going to come to you guys. Is Dr. Brown selling the office and retiring? She goes, no, that's a rumor that goes around quite often. But no, he has no plans. And, uh, which is surprising because 
he's in an age where he really should retire and enjoy a few years. He's 72. I did not realize Dr. Brown was a year older than Dad. Of course, I haven't actually seen Dr. Brown in years, so I don't quite know how he's aged. Um, he lost a daughter, and um, his wife is already sick, and that really affected her more, and he took care of his wife who was wheelchair bound there towards the end and she passed away a few years ago. Quite a few years ago. I think probably before my mom passed away. He has since remarried. I guess he does have his airplane for sale. He thinks he's a little too old to fly now. Uh, so that's the one thing he has for sale. But the office is not open next week because they're going to a conference. Uh, the doctor and Tammy and so all the other employees have the week off the girl who was drawing my blood I'm like you going anywhere she goes usually that would be the week that I go somewhere and take my kids on a trip or something but my grandma's really sick and I kind of want to stay home to stay close to home so she has no plans of going away she's a real nice girl who takes my blood and she's very good at it which I like because I when I was younger that's what kind of I've had people who are not very good at it take my blood when I was younger which kind of put a thing in my mind that needles are bad but now I know needles aren't so bad because uh, as a kid I was scared the thing about needles is was also when I was a kid I had a finger slap I probably told the story once before you know after you do this for six years it just recycles so if you've heard the finger story go on. Uh, my finger got slammed in a door as it happens with kids and it started to get infected and uh, and I needed to go to the doctor and I was dead set. I don't know how old I was maybe seven or eight maybe even nine. I was young <clears throat> and so one day we were going for a ride. I'll turn you this way a little bit know what that he's mowing now because he said he got everything mowing. But um so we go for a ride and we pull into the doctor's office and let's just say I kind of freaked out. So they take me in the doctor's office and they look at my finger and they're like yeah it's infected and they need to put a shot. I needed to give a shot in my finger. And so they had to shove a needle in my cuticle and give me a shot in there of antibiotic stuff. I don't know. You, my dad was in the waiting room. Thank you. Go on now. Shoot, shoot. Um, and he said it sounded like I was getting murdered. I also had to have a tetanus shot in my buttocks. And, um, so that really stands out in my mind of a negative needles. So, but now I'm like, do what you gotta do. You know, I'm at the age where I just gotta do what I gotta do. And when that nail fell off, I put it in a tic tac, tic tac container, and I had it for a while because I'm a weird kid. I think my mom probably snitched it and threw it away somewhere. Yeah, my mom. I still have some of my baby teeth my mom kept. I, the ones that I had silver teeth, silver cap teeth, baby teeth that were in the back, and she kept all those that fell out. I think they're in her jewelry box. Strange, I know. I get it. I got it from her. Yeah. Yeah. So, just kind of little stories here and there today. Don't have my van yet. I got the title. It's mine. Don't have. I kind of stalk them. And they see me when I drive by real slow in the vibe. He'll, he'll come out and talk to me, Mike, the owner. Yesterday in the afternoon, I'm like, how's it going? He goes, it's in the, because I noticed it wasn't in the park in the back anymore. They have it in the garage. He goes, yeah, we're, tr we're getting the lift on there. We had to get it assembled. And he said when it came, I took the instructions home to kind of look it over to read what, what, because they've never done it before. And so 
I never did get a call Friday afternoon saying it was done, so hopefully Monday or Tuesday I'll get my van. It can't be hard to put a lift on there, right? If I had been smart, I would have got what they called the white glove when I ordered it, and one of their servicemen would have came and installed it for me and showed me how to operate it. But that cost quite a bit. Probably a lot more than what I'm going to pay Mike to put it on there. So we'll see. I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday I'll have it. And then when I do, I'll take my flip out and take a tour. I'll do a scooter and van tour. Show y'all the buttons and the bells and whistles. I have not even sat in my van. I have not seen the inside of it. All I have seen is the outside of it. But she's mine. Alright, I'm going to roll. It's over 10 minutes long. So, see you all tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll vlog with Dad and he can say hello for his birthday. So, bye. Oh. No, I'll have to do it tomorrow. Bye.